friends and families, as COVID has become so rampant and so difficult, I am taking this position to show you what are the things that we are doing today in the ICU to help a lot of our patients. If you look at my feet, you look at my knees, my elbows and my position. We are now in a difficult situation. We're having hard time really delivering oxygen to our patients. We are having truly hard time treating our patients with respiratory failure on the ventilators. So what I showed you is one of the maneuvers that will help you move the oxygen into your lungs and move your lung secretions. So there are th this position that I showed you at the beginning of this video helps you to send oxygen to the lower part of your lungs. COVID will attack the lower part of your lungs, seep out fluids that is as thick as glue, block the lungs and lead to suffocation literally and respiratory failure. Many studies without a shadow of a doubt have shown that the best way that we can deliver oxygen is we, the ICU team, place patients in a position on their stomach. Even the better position is what I showed you at the beginning of this video where you're on your hands and your knees. Then you drop your elbows like this and you put your head down and you breathe in deep and you cough. This is called proning, proning, P-R-O-N-I-N-G, proning position, that position. Search it on the internet so you'll see even more illustrations and details, but that position is extremely effective in mobilizing all that gunk and thick secretions, glue-like secretions out of the bottom of the lungs, which is the bigger part of the lungs, out so you can cough it up. And that will recruit your lungs and protect your lungs from suffocating with COVID. Um, the hand washing, don't pick your nose, masks, is extremely essential and and there are a lot of people who are talking about it but what i'm talking to you about is from the heart of the intensive care unit yesterday was a sad day we called it a dd you hear about the d-day in world war ii this is a d-day for our icu team a lot of deaths occurred yesterday in our hospital from covid